see, Twilight, it didn't happen. But it could! I just don't think I can send her anywhere. What am I gonna do? <laughs> Twilight, I'm not. I'm laughing because I have the exact same fears you're having. What? Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a very bright young filly. She was truly one of my best students. Are you talking about Twilight? I can't see what you're thinking about. <sighs> yes, Spike. I was constantly surprised and impressed with her discoveries. But I noticed that her pursuit of academia was preventing her from reaching her full potential. You mean it was keeping her isolated and alone? Uh, yes, Spike. I had a decision to make. Oh, but it wasn't easy. Maybe I could close the library or throw a party in the castle. Oh, she'd have to talk to the other fillies then. Oh. I must send her away. I knew there was a special group of fillies in Ponyville, but I kept inventing all kinds of reasons why I shouldn't send you. <laughs> what if she runs into a manticore? Or what if she gets pulled into Tartarus? Or worst of all, what if she doesn't get along with any pony? Are we supposed to say something? I don't think so. I kept you in Canterlot longer than I should have. Eventually, I realized all the anxiety I felt was because I didn't want you to go. Really? I loved having you as a student. You challenged me and taught me just as much as I taught you. I am embarrassed to admit it, but I was afraid if you made friends, you wouldn't need me anymore. Princess Celestia, that is so not true. I will always need you. I think Starlight Glimmer might feel the same way about you, if that is what you're afraid of. Maybe it is, just a little. <laughs> oh, it definitely is. Like a lot. Here we are after all these years, Twilight. We are living proof that letting someone spread their wings doesn't mean you no longer have a place in their lives. Thank you. And if you're still worried, you can always make her write you letters. Ha, 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 ha.